What does the abstraction principle mean? There are five principles of rational counting. While the first four tell us how to count, this fifth and final principle is really about what we can count. So, when we learn to count, we also learn what we can and cannot count? That's right. We can learn to count any collection of individual or discrete things, and these can be tangible or intangible. For example, we can count physical objects such as soccer balls, but we can also count things that we can't touch, such as the shadows of the balls, the number of times the ball bounces, or the sound it makes each time it hits the ground. It's also important that children learn they can count a set of items that are not the same or related in any way. Okay, so how do we help students learn what they can and cannot count? They will learn this principle over time. Just be sure to give them many rich counting experiences involving things that are both tangible and intangible.